Okay, now for something truly obscene. Negative 29 pi over 6. So I need to situate this uh, in my xy plane, first of all. So how can I think of that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. I need to think of it as like... Um, so I want to put it close to a multiple of pi. So which multiple of pi is, is it closest to? Well, it's close to... minus 30 pi over 6 plus uh, plus just 1 pi over 6, right? So I did that because this is minus 5 pi here, very easy to situate. And then I add pi over 6. It's going to be able to situate this relatively easy. So minus 5 pi. Okay, let's do this carefully. So I'm starting over here. Maybe I'll get closer to the origin here. So I got minus 1 pi, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, minus 4 pi, minus 5 pi. And then, so I got, so I've got minus 5 pi so far. And then I'm going to go counterclockwise pi over 6. So then I come back just a little bit this way. So, my angle is situated like this, sort of, where that angle right there is pi over 6. And then, I reflect it back into the first quadrant. So that's pi over 6. So I'm interested in cosine. Nope. Well, I guess I'm, I'm interested in... Yeah, I guess I'm interested in cosine pi over 6. I guess I'm skipping steps here. Why do I care about cosine pi over 6? Well, I'm going to use secant theta is 1 over cos theta. So secant of minus 29 pi over 6 is 1 over cosine minus 29 pi over 6. Now my minus 29 pi over 6 is situated down here. I reflect it back into the first quadrant. It's going to be pi over 6. So what I'm going to get here is I'm going to get uh, plus or minus, not sure yet which one it is. It's only one of them. Cosine pi over 6. Now I use my cast rule, C, A, S, T, to tell me that only tangent is positive down here, so cosine is negative. So I get 1 over uh, negative of the cosine of pi over 6. Now cosine pi over 6 being in the first quadrant it's going to be positive. Um, and I can find it by this triangle. 1 root 3 rather. 2 my pi over 6 up here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I get negative root 3 over 2, which gives me my answer, which is negative 2 over root 3. And I am thinking I had a mistake above. Did I? Sure did. That was wrong. That was so wrong. So, so, so very wrong. My apologies, should be negative 2 over root 3. I forgot to flip that when I did it in my head. Okay. Tan of negative pi over 3 is, well, let's see, negative pi over 3 
is down here. Uh, negative pi over 3. So if I reflect that into the first quadrant, I get just pi over 3 here. <clears throat> Tan of pi over 3 is do, 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 do. so I'm visualizing my memorized triangle in my head and what am I getting? I'm getting root 3 over 1. So my angle is down here. I get root 3 over 1 for my tan. So that's just root 3. But now I use my cast rule. And down here, only cosine is positive, so the tan will be negative. So my tan of negative pi over 3 will not be this root 3. It will be negative root 3. Okay, so we have some things to memorize here. Let me try to find my list of things to memorize. Hopefully this isn't giving you a headache. Oh, there we go. Memorize. These are the things I memorize. So pause and copy, pause and copy. I'll talk a little bit about them. So I need the cast rule. I use that a lot. Uh, I'm doing these reflections. I'm reflecting into the first quadrant a lot. I got my two triangles. The uh, the one for pi over 4 and the other one for pi over 3 and pi over 6. The reciprocal identities, you know, um, cosecant theta goes with sine theta. Secant theta goes with cosine theta. And cotangent theta goes with tan theta. And finally, I basically memorize these, you know, the four points of the unit circle. So I basically have sine, cos, and tan memorized for these four points down here. And with these four things to memorize, I can do all the trig I need to do.